So now we know how many Sterling kits have been sold in Zimbabwe and you guessed it, it's a lot. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master, the Zimtech guy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Now, remember when I was telling you that only the Q4 Portra's report will give us a rough idea of the impact of Starlink. Well, the report is out now. But even without the report, if you look at the Starlink availability map, most of the areas are sold out and recently, we shared that the Starlink team had visited the Aura Group as it was the best performing Starlink reseller on the African continent. So there's obviously a lot of Starlink kits in the country. Now, before we share the exact number of Starlink kits in the country, we also want to take a look at some of the highlights of the Potras Q4 report. Turns out mobile voice traffic increased by 42% in the last quarter of 2024. People talked on their mobile phones for close to 4 billion minutes. Now, if you convert that to years, that's about 11 million years. Now, that's a lot of conversations taking place. Anyway, there was a 24% increase to mobile internet data traffic. This obviously coincides with the launch of Econet Smart Bees. It's a pity that they had to mess it up by capping their packages. Zimbabweans used up a whopping 97.19 petabytes of data as compared to 78.38 petabytes in the third quarter of 2024. Now, I can assure you that most of that data was used up on TikTok or YouTube or both. Now, fixed telephone subscriptions went up by 1%, uh, mostly due to voice over IP installations. 0.78 of a percent were public switched telephone network this is tel one lines clearly a few individuals still have trust in adsl internet overall ptsn traffic was down by five percent no surprises there postal courier volumes were down by 27 percent in the last quarter of 2024 but outgoing international korea was up by 36 percent which is good news, meaning that Zimbabweans are exporting a lot more goods. Now, finally, what we came here for. According to Portras, in the last quarter of 2024, Zimbabwe bought a staggering 20,000 Starlink kits. Now, that is a lot of Starlink kits and that is an impressive number. Actually, it's a record-breaking number, considering that this is for the period ending 31 December 2024. Now, as this stands, I think we're probably hovering between 35,000, maybe to around 40,000 Starlink kits. That's just my educated guess, right? Considering that uh, Starlink has put in a lot of initiatives, for example, bringing in subscriptions. People can now uh, buy their Starlink kits or Starlink mini kits in installments. So that, that's likely to push the number up again. But then again, if you consider that the Aura Group was uh, named the best reseller, on the African continent, meaning that it is selling a lot of kits. So, right, I, I think maybe we're probably hovering around maybe that 35 to 40,000, maybe even 50,000. Maybe I'm just pushing it, but I think the number is quite high of selling kits that are currently in circulation. Now, this takes us back to when uh, we were advocating that Starlink should come into the country, right? A lot of people were saying that, uh, arguing that Starlink would be expensive for the average Zimbabwean, but as we can see, Zimbabweans clearly can afford. I mean, what's the alternative? Starlink is the cheapest. For $30, you get unlimited internet. Which other local provider can compete with that, right? I, I doubt if there's any out there that, I, that can actually compete with Starlink on that front. The honest truth is that Starlink is probably maybe the best internet that one can get at the moment. Um, I remember I started using Starlink. Uh, I actually bought it the first day that it was launched and it came two weeks later. So I started using, I think on the 21st of September, 2024, up to date. And I can tell you that um, I've only had maybe four outages, major outages. And I'm talking might be something that can go for maybe an hour or two at most. But that's it. All this while it's been actually great. Uh, and especially with the ground stations being installed everywhere right now. Uh, in Botswana, there's a ground station. Right now, we're currently using the South African, the Joburg Pop, right? 
which means the latency is greatly improved. Now we're hovering between maybe 30 to 55 milliseconds. If you go on the Starlink uh, map, right, you see that the, uh, the latencies have improved, which means now you can do gaming, you can stream, you can do a lot of things. Actually, it's actually getting better, right? That it's probably at par with fiber. And remember, this is before we even get a ground station in the country. Assuming that we get a ground station as well means that even the latencies will even be better maybe for gaming and, uh, and other uses as well. So Starlink has been a game changer in my opinion and I'm sure the numbers are speaking for themselves. This is for Q4. It will be an interesting read to get the maybe Q1 2025 report. I'm sure that as well will be interesting. But yeah, Starlink is a game changer and uh, even if you look at uh, the data that was used, there was an increase in data usage, right? Before, people could not even consider maybe streaming, right? But right now, because of Starlink, I mean, $30, you can stream all you want. You can actually do anything you want. You can download a lot of games. You can, it's, it's actually up to you what you can do with Starlink. And uh, that is a positive. Now, the only thing maybe is for uh, us now to get into that mode. Us, by us, I mean like as a nation, maybe consider how we can actually make money from opportunities like uh, like this when we get cheap internet and hopefully maybe also we can be able to import computers maybe duty free for now just like we had maybe during the gnu period right where uh, a lot of uh, uh, goods were actually imported i mean tech goods actually that's the period where most of the mobile network operators really um what can i say pulled up their socks right that period. Maybe if, if the government can look into such initiatives as well, make sure that uh, you remove maybe duty on computers so that we we actually get a lot of people working. Because you know, if you have computer access to your computer and the internet, you can actually get a lot of work done. You can start maybe um, coding skills. You can start, start learning a lot of things. You know, there's online classes and a lot of stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. There's a lot of things that you can do with the internet. So, that is it. This is the state of uh, the internet space in Zimbabwe at the moment. Starlink, first quarter, 20,000 kits. That is a lot of kits, guys. Consider, imagine that. So that means 20,000 by $30. I mean, you do the math. That's probably how much they're making on average a month. That is a lot of money, right? Uh, and yeah, so pretty much that's it, guys. So if you've been using Starlink, how's been the experience? Leave a comment down below if you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.